It's been an interesting couple of weeks in the world of basketball, courtesy of Gilbert Arenas. We've learned more about the plans that LeBron James has for his son, and there is more to them than you might think. Also, Arenas weighed in on the endlessly interesting competition for the best player never to be honored with a championship ring. Stick around as we drive hard into both of these stories. Let's start with Bronny, the son of LeBron James. If you stick to the NBA and don't follow high school basketball, you might not have known that LeBron Jr., who usually goes by Bronny, has his eyes set on the league. The 18-year-old prospect has been appearing in basketball highlight reels since 2014, when he was just 10 years old. Bronny might be the son of this generation's most popular basketball player, but the kid has some serious talent of his own. He's played on championship-winning teams since before he started going to high school, and that includes the Midwest Championships held by none other than the NBA. In his first varsity game, Bronny made a a big statement by scoring 27 points, contributing around half of his team's score and leading them to victory. At this point, Bronny is basically a shoo-in for the NBA. After all, the kid has been receiving college basketball scholarships before even his teenage years. His dad wasn't a fan of that, but Bronny has only continued to showcase his potential, and in 2021, 247 Sports and ESPN ranked him in the top 50 prospects in the game right now. He's received offers from Memphis, Michigan, Ohio State, Oregon, UCLA, and USC. It's clear that his college basketball career is set, and he's got the talent to get drafted out of college into the NBA. But as part of the James dynasty, it's worth asking what dad wants for him. Luckily for us, ESPN has already done that. In an interview with the sports publication, LeBron got to reminisce over a career of highlights. Over the years, the baller has created a legacy of making the impossible happen and defying people's expectations. He has firmly entered himself into the greatest of all time conversation. But what about his son? Well, LeBron's dream is that he and Bronny can attack the court together. And while we're calling it a dream, Bron was a lot more adamant that this is something that absolutely has to happen. Now, this isn't something he's saying for the first time. And in the past, he was also starting Staunch about the fact that he wanted to be on the same squad with Bronny. Right now though, the father would be just as happy playing against the son. This possibility isn't something that he and Bronny have discussed together, but the NBA is clearly something that Bronny is striving towards. As we've seen, it's almost a guarantee that it'll happen eventually. Of course, there are rules to consider, and the earliest Bronny could join the NBA would be in the 2024 to 2025 season. That's not very far off from now, and LeBron would even still be in the Lakers when that season rolls around. In case you're wondering, this kind of situation isn't unheard of in sports. LeBron himself pointed to the example of Ken Griffey Sr. and Jr. playing on the same baseball team together. Now, here's where Gilbert Arenas enters the picture. The two-time All-Star has apparently been tasked with scouting Bronny for the NBA. As Arenas himself describes the job, he's expected to put some eyes on the heir to the James dynasty. Not the eyes of the media, which don't need any help focusing on this family, but his own eyes. Basically, Arenas was meant to give his expert assessment of Bronny's capabilities and report back to his dad. It looks like Bronny has passed Arena's inspection. He reported to LeBron that he has nothing to worry about. He specifically noted Bronny's athleticism and the similarities between father and son. The two of them share similar levels of speed, basketball IQ, and love of the game. Does that get LeBron Jr. any closer to the NBA? Not really, since this was just an informal assessment. As we saw earlier, colleges are climbing over each other to this prospect on their roster. And unless Bronny's game drops off significantly or he suffers a career-ending injury, we think that his path to the NBA has been paved. All that being said though, LeBron's dreams aren't guaranteed. Here's the thing. LeBron is getting up there in years. Having been drafted into the NBA in 2003, he's been playing in the league for 20 years now. That makes him one of the oldest players in the game currently. And while he's still playing well, the time when his age starts catching up with him is nigh. Indeed, the time might come before Bronny gets to join the NBA. At the earliest time he could join the league, King James would be 40 years old. We can bet that LeBron will try to stick around as long as he possibly 
possibly can. Not just because he wants to play with his son, but also because he's currently just 500 points short of beating Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's all-time scoring record. But it shouldn't take him too long to top that. Against all odds, LeBron James has honed his shooting game to a deadly point. But once he clears that milestone, would it be a good idea to stick around for the sake of playing against Bronny? Should LeBron risk his own legacy? It's true that the King will always have somewhere to go in the NBA, but it's worth remembering that Michael Jordan's late game run with the Washington Wizards reflected pretty poorly on him. All we're saying is that you shouldn't let your dreams just be dreams, until it becomes a better idea to let your dreams stay dreams. Now, speaking of goats, Arenas has touched off a debate around a certain kind of goat. In the annals of basketball legend, you'll find tons of top tier players who hold tons of records and have a trophy case that's positively bursting at the hinges. But the one thing that they don't have is an NBA championship ring. As you all know, championships are won by teams, and it's entirely possible to spend your career excelling at the sport without ever playing on a team that could go the distance. Players like that shouldn't be disqualified from the conversation of NBA greats at all. And recently, Gilbert Arenas threw his hat into the conversation. During the same interview with Vlad Zero, where he described LeBron James' assignment for him, Arenas named Allen Iverson as the greatest player with no ring. We're sure that lots of you agree with him, and you'll even agree with his further point that Iverson propelling subpar teams to championships was proof of his greatness, even though that's not a very nice thing to say. Now, Allen Iverson is definitely one of the greatest players in the history of the NBA, period. But while we're talking about the NBA's finest players without rings, let's not jump to conclusions about him being the greatest. AI has some tough competition in this category, so he might not be the answer to the question of who's the greatest. Why don't we take some time to figure out who really tops that list? First, let's consider the case of Iverson. There are lots of numbers and awards to throw around here. Across the 14 seasons that he played, he was an 11-time NBA All-Star, 4-time scoring champion, 3-time steals leader, and averaged almost 27 points a game, with 4 rebounds and six assists. He picked up an Olympic bronze medal in Athens in 2004, as well as gold medals at the 2003 FIBA Americas Championship and the 1995 Summer Universiade. But his real contribution to basketball was revolutionizing the role of the point guard and shooting guard. His short stature put him at a bit of a disadvantage against the giants that dominated the sport at the time. But Iverson was athletic and nimble enough to outmaneuver everyone. He also had the ball handling abilities to remain impossible to steal from. His existence in the league showed that size isn't everything in basketball, and anything is possible through pure honed technique. AI is most recognizable as the superstar of the Philadelphia 76ers, where he spent 10 years of his NBA career. While the 76ers were a fixture in the postseason in 1998, they never quite made it across the finish line. Still, Iverson gave most of his career to the squad, and only left because of a revolving door in the role of coach. The Nuggets, Pistons, and Grizzlies didn't get him any closer to a championship, but there's no denying that Iverson deserved a ring all along. Now, allow us to submit some more candidates for your consideration. Like, are we going to have this conversation without also including Patrick Ewing? He matches Iverson's 11 NBA All-Star honors, and he's got one more gold medal. Okay, that stuff isn't as important as the fact that Ewing had legendary versatility in the center. He was brilliant at defense and clutch at shooting, and he elevated the Knicks to heights they hadn't seen. We also can't sleep on Charles Barkley, another short king by basketball standards. He too showed the world the real potential of his role, becoming a true threat on the court. There's a reason why they used to call him the round mound of rebound. And unlike Ewing and Iverson, Barkley brought two teams to championship contention, the Sixers and the Suns. He'd have a ring, honestly, if Jordan and Pippen had decided to play some other sport. Two other players held back by Jordan were John Stockton and Karl Malone. As part of one of the greatest lineups the Utah Jazz has ever fielded, the starting power forward and point guard were unstoppable forces of nature that have cemented their place in NBA history. 
their near misses with the rings are almost tragic, and in so many seasons, it was the Bulls that held them back. Are they better than Iverson though? We're gonna let you figure that out. We only wanted to make things right by including these guys in the conversation. But that's it for today's video. Let us know in the comment section below whether Bronny and LeBron playing in the league together is a good idea, and whether Bron should overstay his welcome to make it happen. Also, who are your favorite goats without rings? But Whatever you do, don't forget to dunk on the like, share, and subscribe buttons. See you next time.